We recovered artifact technology from the wreck of the Ashoka and have run it through our diagnostics. The advanced cooling system the Galcian have been using to endure the deep desert heat is unlike anything Coalition scientists have been able to develop. I found a way to merge their tech with our existing thermal control assembly, allowing us to shunt additional power to weapons and armor while simultaneously increasing our repair abilities and targeting range. We also uncovered the existence of a Gaussian military base at the edge of the Dune Sea. Adjacent to the base is a resourcing operation. Similar to the plan of attack we used against the Ashoka, the Sakala will engage the enemy first, then pull back, drawing as many defenders away as possible. The Kapisi will then move in and shut down their resourcing operation before turning her attention to the base itself. technology has been adapted to my base runner as a ranged device. Re Any target caught in the impact zone will be completely disabled, though recharge time is a concern. Our strategy is working. The Sakala confirms they've drawn away much of the outpost's defenses. We need to work quickly to secure the area. Going mobile. Ready for command. Guard position confirmed. Reporting. Op ready. Cruiser ready. Move to guard position on that rail gun. Ready for command. Move to guard craft. Salvage your copies. Move out. Ready. Moving to escort position.
Move to Rachel. Provide support. Ready. Guard position locked in. Go for ranged. Ready for command. Guard position confirmed. Armor ready. Guard position locked in. Armor ready. Moving to guard position. Cruiser ready. Green line confirmed. Grid updated. Copy. On our Enemy way. light attack vehicle marked on approach. Engage Enemy guard. production cruiser sighted. Engage and destroy. Armored vehicle is taking fire. Confirmed. Cruiser Hostiles guarded. designated. Trackers assigned. A patrol guarding the Gaussian resourcing operation has been alerted to our presence. Royal. Sensors indicate this force is heavily armed against both air and ground engagements. A real EMP charged and ready to go. Time for a field test. Contact. A Gaussian salvager group is falling back to the main complex. Zeroing in on ground strike. Zeroing in on target. Support crews are under attack. Immediate fire support on that position. Hostile railguns have opened up. Enemy armor disabled. Gaussian shipbreakers are falling back to the safety of the base. Charges. Hostile strike coffee. craft down. Prime charges. We've gained a foothold in the excavation site, yet heavy turret emplacements block our advance. Their visibility and firing arc is limited. However, they are equipped with heavy caliber rounds and are well armored. Get racial into the base, but make every attempt to outflank them. A direct assault would result in significant casualties. Standing by. Those heavy turrets are operated from centralized control towers. Targeting the control towers with an EMP burst should temporarily disable the turrets. Use Rachel's EMP on turret control towers. Place halt charges. Prime charges. Salvage are up. Time's a wasted. Send message. Green line confirmed. Energy signature confirmed. An artifact Salvage has been discovered. Ready. We read you. Salvage are up. Time's a wasted. Rachel, go ahead. Reading. Artifact Brenner. recovered. Authentication confirmed. Brenner copies. Form up on Rachel. She is your top priority. Science officer en route. Reporting. Support on that position. Armor, go ahead. Our ship breaking techniques are more aggressive than the Gaussian. We may uncover technology they haven't discovered yet. Agreed. However, heavy turrets are still guarding the rest of the excavation site. Determine if your EMP is effective against them. Grid updated. Roger that. Salvager has been engaged. Reposition. Secure the hole! Secure the hole! Point defense active. 
Standing by. Target EMP. The railgun is taking effective fire. We've got enemy contact. Armored Watch vehicle is taking four. fire. Redirecting cover fire. Alert. We're taking hostile fire. EMP. Fire. Be advised. Gaussian signatures detected exiting the main complex.
Roger that. Be careful, Rachel. Rachel, what is your team's status? Status report. I've disabled the outpost remaining turret emplacement. The Gaussian database is extensive, however. I'll need more time to extract it. Excellent work. Keep us updated. Roger that. Coordinates confirmed. Intel, I've ID'd a Gaussian Honor Guard cruiser in one of the outpost service hangars. It can be integrated into our fleet. The Honor Guard cruiser is located here. Send a support cruiser to recover it. We can expect a Gaussian counterattack to reclaim the base shortly. Eliminate all remaining Gaussian forces and defend Rachel's position. Ready. Maintenance protocols in effect. Send message. Escort set for armor. Send message. Move with that armor. Go. Hostile light Red attack vehicle. Command. Visually authenticated. Maintenance protocol. Hostile detected. Visual unconfirmed. Cruiser ready. Guard order confirmed. Reporting. Main Alert. Or taking effect. hostile fire. Hostile Be strike craft ready. down. Hostile range craft destroyed.
Rachel. Yes, I read you. That was close. Personal log. Intelligence officer Nathan Sajet. Expedition carrier Kapisi. The Galcian. Ghosts of the desert. We learn more about our enemy with each passing day. Rachel says they believe in a terrible place where their god, Sajuk, placed his people as punishment for their sins. They refer to it as Kartoba, or First City. They believe their spiritual and military leader, the Kahad Sajuk, will become the instrument of God's will and ascend to rule over all of Karak once he enters the temple of Kartoba. Is there a kernel of truth hidden amongst these myths? And if so, what is it 